That is the craziest snowman I think I've ever seen in my life. Like it? Was it spicy? He thought the cookie was spicy. Was it a spicy cookie? They're ugly! Just kidding. They're not Pinterest worthy. <laughs> Good job there. Let me see yours, Cooper. Yours turned out pretty Picasso-like. Awesome. Picasso yeah, good job. Bow tie. Who do we have here, Miss Van Gogh? Christmas is in two days. By the time you see this vlog, we've got two more days until Christmas, and I cannot wait. For us, we have a week until Christmas, and I thought instead of vlogging every day this week until Christmas, I would just do one big vlog this week and show you the highlights. Oh, Cooper! Who are these for? I didn't bring them. Yeah, you didn't. But who are they for? The highlights. This is the highlight of our day, apparently. Oh, who is it for? For your teacher? And is that for your teacher's assistant? Cooper, you didn't take them to school today because you need to make them a Merry Christmas card to go with it, okay? But now what are we going to do? Okay. Just number one. Well, yeah, but Cooper, I'm not going to let you eat these right now. Did you ask Mom? Oh, why are you wearing pajamas? It was pajama day. It was pajama day at school. It was Polar Express. Did you drink hot cocoa and have popcorn? That sounds like so much fun, but that doesn't mean you can come home and keep having fun by eating caramels. Okay. <gasps> now that he's gone, I'm eating one of these caramels. I'm not going to let him eat one, but... They are actually really good. I was hesitant to buy caramels, like the homemade type of caramels at the grocery store, but they exceeded my expectation. So Landon and I have taken the youth in our area to Salt Lake City to see the lights on Temple Square, and the only tag along that we have along with us, other than a bunch of teenagers, is our is polar bear you. baby. Oh, cute little thing. For the very first time, my kids are going to go Christmas shop. Ew, did you just snore? <laughs> my kids already drew names for Christmas, but tonight we are taking them shopping to buy each other their Christmas gift. Porter is insistent that he has who for Christmas? Santa. Santa. But did you really know that you drew Emma's name for Christmas? No. Can you get Emma a gift? I can't. What are you getting? I probably shouldn't be asking you questions while you have food in your mouth. I want to bring Emma a turkey. A turkey? Uh huh. No, I don't want a turkey or a turkey tray or anything that he said. Did you know that a part of gift giving, gift receiving, is just being grateful for whatever you get? So if Porter wants to get you. No, that's called not being grateful. If Porter wants to get you a turkey or a tray, then. Then you have to be grateful. No. How will I use the train? How would I use the turkey? <laughs> Maybe you can make a turkey dinner for us and then you can take the train and just play with him. No. Yeah. Okay, let's change the subject. Look, look how beautiful my flowers are. We got these on my 10 year anniversary and they are a week old. They are a week old and they are beautiful. One of my favorite things about having kids in elementary school are the homemade little things that they make. Look how cute this little tree ornament. It's a snow globe and Cooper is in a snow globe and I'm going to scan that URL code. Look how cool technology is. Mom, this fold off. Made it. Well, okay, I'll fix it, okay? Listen to this message with me from Cooper. I love you, Mom and Dad. Thank you for giving me medicine at night. Merry Christmas. Let's go 
<laughs> Cooper, that is so cute. Oh, he's so stinking cute. Do you have your money? Do you have your money? Yes. Are we going Christmas shopping? Yes. All right, found Emma, who do, you, well, who do you have? Lucy. Lucy, so you gotta find something that's good for Lucy. Port Cooper, who do you have? Porter. All right, so we need to find something. You need to find something that you think Porter would like. So this is a good thing for our kids to do because it helps them think about other people, not just themselves, huh? Oh, shopping, buddy. Dad, I'm a shopping. All right, well, we got the presents. Now the hard part begins. What's the hardest part? Not telling them what you got them. That's the hardest part. So you gotta keep it a secret, okay? So I just got done explaining to the kids that sometimes our plans have to change. For so long, Emma has wanted to go ice skating this whole entire break. We we're gonna go ice skating, but they the hours are off a little bit. So instead, we are going to the jump zone with Ellie and Bonnie and all our fun little cousins that live up here in Logan. And on my winter bucket list was to come up to Logan just at least once to visit Ellie and Bonnie because it's always fun to see your other siblings' houses decorated with all the Christmas like trees and fun stuff. And so I really wanted to come up here and see them in their houses. So that is why we are coming up here. It's more for me, not the kids. Right, Landon? I'm driving, sorry. <laughs> I didn't hear you. Oh good, you're paying attention. That was a test and he passed. <laughs> now Landon missed out on our family Christmas party and so I wanted him to have a chance to come up and see his buddies, Joel and Jared. We're getting some man time in too. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Is that what men, men do? Yeah, we sit around. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> That's not creepy. Who can do it the deepest? Ooh, 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 ooh. Cooper, you do it. Porter, you do it. I can't. Do it, say. Ooh, ooh. I can't do that. You do it, try it. I can't do that. Do a monkey sound. <laughs> Porter, turn around, buddy. Are you asking to be excused? Ask, show dad your sticky hands. Are they clean? Let me see your sticky hands. Are they clean? Magic guy, magic guy, magic guy. Today we have the Drew family Christmas party and I want to show you my mother-in-law's beautiful Christmas tree. This is one tree of many, but it's her Christ tree and it's all about Jesus Christ. And I just think it is gorgeous looking. Oh, so pretty. And she has a gingerbread tree. Ah, oh, look at all those cute gingerbreads. This looks like a Santa Claus tree with a bunch of like Santa Claus on there. That one is really pretty. She has a little woodsy Christmas tree with lots of cute little like wood ornaments. But here is the other Christmas tree that they have. And look at these cute ornaments I forgot I made. So that was Emma like three years ago. Where's Porter? Look how cute Porter was. He was so little. Oh my gosh, and there is Cooper. Who's that? Lannan's family is all about claymation. Have you ever seen claymation? Oh, 
Oh, Grandma, you stepped right in front of the camera. Oh. <laughs> Good job, Grandma. <laughs> All right, we're getting ready for the nativity set up here. He's gonna be Joe. He's gonna be. Oh, what are you? You're a wise guy. You're one of the three kings. Good job, buddy. You got some angels. We got a, a shepherd with a sheep. <laughs> That's awesome. Cooper, turn around. Look at me. Give me a thumbs up. <laughs> oh, it's Balthazar. Or something. I know, you are always an angel. You don't even have to dress up. Oh, Mary's here prepping the manger, getting it all ready to rock and roll. So we'll post the full version of this chaos here a little bit later this week, so keep an eye out for it. Just a few days until Christmas left, and we are finishing up our... One of our traditions, doing gingerbread houses. How many of you build gingerbread houses as a Christmas time tradition? I bought three kits. We've got two there and a kit there, but surprisingly, there were plenty of little teeny houses in that little village kit. That is the only one that we decided to pull out and do. So let me go around and show you. This is the one that I kind of worked on. The thing with these gingerbread houses is when you cut them in half, they like angle. So you kind of have to be careful Emma, yours is coming along quite well. Oh my goodness, I love the blue. So pretty. Wonderful walkway. Porter's looks lovely. What is this? Like a village of just bowls of candy? Oh, it's a spaceship. A what? A spaceship? No, pieces. A what? Pieces. Oh, I don't know either. Looks good, whatever it is. And wow. yours is the A-line house. I've always liked little A-line cabins. A-frame and A-line. I like your A-frame house, and buddy. A, and a person going in. I want my house! Oh, that's his gumdrop I want my house! Wonderful job, everyone! So Christmas is just around the corner and I want to ask the kids, what has been your favorite activity that we have done this whole Christmas season? Making gingerbread houses. So what you're saying is right now, what we are doing right now has been the funnest. Good. Comment down below what one of your favorite Christmas time traditions are. This apparently is the kids' favorite tonight. So we are going to finish up building our gingerbread houses and we are going to call it good for tonight. And the next time you guys see us, it will be Christmas Eve. So thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and we will see you guys next time.